Okay, to start, we have the Keltec Sub 2000. Normally, to start, we would have a semi automatic 22, and usually people think that that's, oh, everybody needs that around the farm, and then usually people would say, oh, what's the go to semi auto 22? And they'd say the Ruger 1022. And I honestly am not a big fan of the Ruger 1022. Um, they're getting cheap. They don't, I don't know. Everybody says they're so accurate. I seem to find different. I also had the, uh, the Remington 597. It actually seemed to outperform the uh, Ruger 1022. We took multiple people and did tests on targets right next to each other, and uh, we found that the Remington was better, and it was older and more heavily used as well. But anyways, um, I don't suggest 22s for uh, shooting little beasts like around the farm, like raccoons or skunks or anything, like because it, it takes too many shots. Whereas a 9mm, it gets her done real quick. So I suggest some kind of 9mm. I like the Sub 2000 because it's light and uh, it takes Glock magazines. I also have the JR Carbine, which is also good, but it's a lot heavier. So I do like the uh, Caltech a little bit better, but uh, they're both great. I suggest 9mm is what I'm saying, over 22 for shooting at raccoons and stuff. Also shotguns, you sometimes want shotguns around and sometimes there's some geese flying over that you want to maybe uh, have for dinner so uh, you got to have a shotgun of a pump action 12 gauge sort and uh, I prefer the Mossberg 590 series. There's another issue right there, everybody always says that the uh, Remington 870 is better. Um, I disagree. One, one reason that uh, everybody has a problem with is that the the button to cock it like to to rack it is right here which uh i think is the perfect place because i can just reach around right here and press it with my finger whereas on the 870 it's way up there like you have to take your gun your hand your trigger hand off to like i i don't know how you do it i i'm not a fan of the 870 let's just say that but a pump action 12 gauge is highly suggested next thing is uh a gun for dingoes otherwise known as coyotes and uh, we have to use basically 223s or 22 250s around here so you can get the Robinson Arms XCR We're not allowed to have most uh, ARs around here especially with our uh, non-restricted license so uh, we get this and it's pretty pretty near as good I got a loophole uh, four times sight here and uh, semi-automatic shoots great I love it next best gun here is uh the 17 it's actually the 17 winchester magnum instead of the 17 horn day i love it i bought this gun one day because i was kind of excited because i uh had a great day at work kind of deal and then i figured i'd buy a gun and i bought this one and i've never regretted it it shoots amazing it's a savage i don't even know what model it is but it's the 17 winchester magnum and it's got the accu trigger that savage is, is known for and it's really good and I put a giant <laughs> vortex scope on it that's uh, well, close to a thousand dollars Canadian and it uh, you could oh man you can you can snipe a groundhog at a thousand meters it's amazing next is uh, another kind of a, a battle here the SKS everybody in Canada loves it because it's cheap and you can get lots of bullets and it's you know, we, we're not allowed to buy real AKs, I guess, and all sorts of things that Americans are allowed to buy. So we get this. And uh, it's good for uh, shooting Tannerite and, uh, you know, just messing around because it's so cheap. Now, the other option is the Lee Enfield. Because we're Canadian, we, you know, have a lot of Lee Enfields for it. And they're awesome. They're just like, pick them up and shoot them, and they shoot great. This is uh, my favorite one. Like a lot of them have wood, uh, different wood on them. Like uh, the, the good ones have the wood right to the end there. But uh, this is my sporterized edition that I can, uh, with iron sights, bing a, a one foot size target at 600 meters, no problem. And uh, I love this gun. Shot a few deers with it. Uh, really good gun. Yep. So that's, uh, that's my five guns. I know it was one to five, but I guess I'm counting these ones as uh, you could have one or the other. If, as long as you have one of these two, then you've got a good 30 caliber rifle uh, for doing what you want. I guess they, they call this one the poor man's deer hunter around here. Problem is that you have to pay a, pay a lot of money for 7.62 by 39 bullets that aren't full metal jacket. 
Anyways, um, I mean, I, I this is another. <laughs> are we uh, being cheap or not when you have the uh, Robinson Robinson right here? But anyways, yeah, that was my five guns video. Hope you guys liked it. Um, shoot me uh one of them re response thingies. Yeah, comment. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyways, comment this video.